One of my favorite shows of all time, Barry, came to an end last night on HBO or Crave, whatever you watch it on. This is Bill Hader's show, and I have watched this since 2019. I've absolutely loved it since season two, because I was, when I started watching it, the first two seasons were already out. It was already one of my favorite shows. Season three was out last year. It was amazing. And season four was also great. But in this video, I want to specifically talk about the finale. I'm going to go over some things that happen in season four, but more specifically talk about the finale. And yes, there will be spoilers. I was debating just doing a whole season four review, but there's so much to talk about that I can't really jump around and hide from it. So there's your spoiler warning. Go watch the whole show. It's only four seasons. The episodes are like 30 minutes long. It is one of my favorite shows I've ever watched, but we got a lot to talk about. So just an overview for season four. I think it's really great. I think that Bill Hader directing it was one of the best ideas. I assume it was his idea, but I've always kind of viewed this as Bill Hader's show. I mean, he's one of the creators. He has directed episodes in the past, and those have always been the best episodes of the show in my mind, or at least directed wise, although I enjoy them all. And he just, he's the brain behind it all. He's a main star, you know, all that stuff. So having him direct the final season is a big deal, and I think he absolutely nailed it. One thing that I've always really appreciated with the show is how he frames characters, how all the directors do, but specifically him, because we're talking about season four, how he frames his characters. He gets almost uncomfortably close to them a lot of the time, and it's also the lenses he uses, but just the way he shoots them, um, it, it could be done in an uncomfortable comedy type situation, or also in a, susp a suspenseful scene. There we go. So, for example, about halfway through the season, there's that scene. It's, it's after Barry leaves for, for LA, and then the person breaks into Sally, the future Sally, or Emily, as we'll call her's house, and then John's, like, asleep on the couch, and it's tracking her, but you know something's gonna happen, but it's not gonna be a jump scare, and I'm just like, what is gonna happen? And then you see the person standing there, and just the way the camera pulls back, but not too fast to, like, lose the tension, I think that's great, but another prime example with uncomfortably close to the people is in the final episode when Fuchs and Hank have their whole standoff thing, which is just absolutely brilliant, and I'll probably talk about that later, but the way he shoots Fuchs, he's so close to him that you can almost, like, smell him in a way, and it works so well. It really sets the tone for it, and then you're so close on Hank, and the, the focus is so shallow that, like, only, like, this part of his face is, like, in focus. It, it's so brilliant, and I think Bill Hader is just a brilliant director as well, and of course, acting-wise, he absolutely kills it no pun intended there. Everybody does a fantastic job. I could go off and list every single person in this, but all the main characters, they're just so good, and even the supporting characters really work. There's some pretty funny stuff that happens even in the, the earlier episodes where they talk about like Fast and Furious and stuff, and just the comedic delivery is so good, and Henry Winkler, oh man, he just, I mean, he's always been a standard of this show, but just in this season, he keeps it up. His character, so selfish, and then you think maybe he's getting away from it and then in the end he isn't. And even the, the suggestions that he made earlier on is like, I don't want this movie being made because they're, you're glorifying a psychopath. And then we see what happens. I think a lot of that, maybe I'm reaching, but could be social commentary for stuff like Dom, uh, Dahmer. Yeah, that's what it's called. Like the Jeffrey Dahmer show with Evan Peters, like performances, you know, great stuff like that. But the way they make you feel sympathy for him in a way, I maybe... And that's a big maybe. It's just like implying that stuff like that happens because so much of this show is really poking fun. It's, it's a satire. It's satire of Hollywood and all this stuff, but it's done in such a brilliant way. All the emotional scenes really work. But let's talk about one of the big things, the deaths. Again, I said spoilers a bunch of times. You guys all knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Barry had to die somehow. He prepared himself to go in and die at the, the standoff place, at, at Hank's place, but he didn't, and then eventually he goes into Kusano's house, and then he's talking to his agent, Tom, and then just, oh wow, gone. Shot, oh wow, head shot, boom, cut to black, that's it. I'm gonna turn myself off. Oh wow. Perfect, perfect ending for him because it's just like perfect Barry style as in, as in for the show, just that, that quick cut, like 
one of my favorite things. It's been so iconic for fans of the show is like, oh, my name isn't this, my name is, and then it cuts to the title card. It's like stuff like that. So I think that quick cut works so well, and then that shot of Kusuno on the couch really works. It's so badass the way it just pans out. But one thing that was discussed that I will have to say was in the back of my head is how the hell did Barry escape? Um, you know, we see it happen, not prison, but escape the garage. It's like, we see it happen, but also... Jim Moss is also smart enough that I feel like he wouldn't let him escape, he wouldn't leave him alone, but it is something that I can look over just for the sake of everything else that happened being so great, but it is something that, that did linger in the back of my mind there, but the actual death of Barry was really great, and then the standoff between Fuchs and Hank was so well done, it was quite possibly, uh, I don't know if it was my favorite scene of this episode, I, I mean there's so much that really could be that, but it was just absolutely brilliant and unexpected that they wouldn't have Barry be in, like, the big action scene, but it worked. It worked. It had so much emotion in it, and the way that Fuchs just turns around is just like, if you admit that you killed Cristobal, then I'll just leave. And Hank's like, oh, like, he knows he should, but he can't. He, it's so painful for him to think about and admit, and that final shot of Hank where he's holding the statue, it, it's just brilliant. I thought the ending there for that character was so smart. And I mean, that scene was brutal. When they were panning across, there were people with like their intestines out and like limbs cut off and stuff like that. I mean, it it worked so well. So there was a lot with this episode that I liked. And obviously all the acting is really amazing. The whole time jump, again, was uh, strange, I will say. Um, earlier in the season, I kind of got confused a little bit of what was happening. I thought it was kind of some, like, fantasy of, like, oh, maybe this happened, and then it was clearly explained. I was like, okay, that makes sense, but when they first jumped eight years in the future, and you're like, oh, he's living on a farm. Is this, like, all in his mind or whatever? And then, you know, it's, it's explained. That makes sense, but then after all this is kind of over, you jump farther into the future, and Sally is, uh, I assume, like a high school dr drama acting teacher whatever and she puts on a good performance and stuff but that little jump was strange I will say and then you have that ending which was pretty funny with the whole look at the Barry and Kusino story and it's like this is what could have happened to the show it's like th showing it through the traditional Hollywood style of just like this is the stupid way it could have turned out I thought that was smart and it, it does show that Kusuno was right, is that they are glorifying a psychopath, because in the end, Barry is seen as a hero, and Kusuno is taken as a bad guy. The only thing I would say that kind of bothered me, besides the whole, you know, the, the Barry escape and whatever, it's that sometimes you don't see the reactions of other characters to what happens. It's like, yes, we know that Kusuno went to prison and stuff, and, like, the way they show that is smart, and I understand they only had, like, 30 minutes to do that, but it's like, we didn't see Sally react to Barry's death. We, She knew it was going to happen, and he had already said, oh, you know, he became, like, a man of God and stuff, and it's like, I was prepared to die, but God didn't want me to, and she was like, you have to turn yourself in, so she knew that he was, she was going to lose him, but we don't actually see a reaction to that, or even with, like, John, and their son, like, it's just, like, little things like that, I would have liked to see just, like, a quick scene of, like, a reaction to that, and then in the future, it does make sense, I, I did like the ending of just watching the son finally watching the movie The Mask Collector, or whatever it's called, and him saying, oh yeah, my dad is a hero, but at the same time, Sally admits earlier on that, that, you know, John's parents aren't good people, because Barry and Sally, I mean, she killed one person, but it's nothing compared to Barry, so there were little things, although this is easily still one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, the acting is brilliant throughout the entire show, um, especially this season. I can't rank the seasons because I haven't seen season one and two since 2019, but I will definitely be rewatching the show in the, in the next few years. It'll definitely become a comfort show. I love it. I loved every single episode. There's again, problems I had with the finale and little things I would change, but while watching it, I was just like, there's a lot to take in, and it worked for me. Uh, Bill Hader is an absolute genius. This is one of my favorite 
shows I've watched him, probably one of my favorite things I've watched in the past 10 years. It's absolutely amazing. Um, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to DM me or comment anything because, again, there's a lot, a lot in this season. A lot happens to these characters, a lot of changes. But overall, I was quite satisfied with the finale for Barry. You know, there were some minor changes I would have made, but Bill Hader is an absolute genius, and everybody who was involved did such a good job. These will be career best performances from all of them. I'm going to give the finale for Barry a 4.5 out of 5. Again, these are changes that I can look over, and that finale rating is like kind of like half the finale and half season four. I just thought it was really well done. And if you guys watched it, let me know what you think down below. Hopefully you have watched it so that it wasn't spoiled for you. Again, for the million time, this is one of my favorite shows of all time. It's going to be weird not waiting a few years and then getting another season, but it was done really well. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Over and out.